okay, we're back. Um, what's going on here? Oh, okay, there we go. Wait, wait, what? What am I hearing? Oh, okay. I had the stream going. I was watching, uh, watching back the stream, making sure everything looked all right. Looks fine. Um, so I guess last time I promised some guitar, maybe some slowing stuff down. Um, we'll get to that. Got some time now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna mess around, see, see where we were. I know we added some drums, didn't really finish that. Add a little bass, added some master effects. Thank you so much, Ryan. Uh, on my last stream, I was talking about how I found the project file for Elusive, and um, I might I might do a video about it. I might do a video about it on my channel, so keep an eye out for that. Okay, wait, these drums go kind of hard. Wait. kick in here or maybe this guy around uh, no, I, I like just this one I don't really know like how I'm gonna add hi-hats to this um I mean obviously I can add hi-hats but I I just don't know like what pattern I want so maybe let me mess around real quick with some other stuff probably do that later I might do that off stream because the the pressure is just way too strong. <sighs> I'm only half half serious. Um, let's see. It's <laughs> kind of lit. <laughs> The reverb will not be this loud. Unless it should be, it's kind of sick. Oh shit, Paper Ocean, um, thank you so much for whatever those are. I, <laughs> I don't know what that is, but it looks like you gave me a hundred, it looks like you gave me a hundred cheers and for that I'm very grateful, so thank you. I don't really know like how Twitch works yet. Like I gifted, I think I gifted you a, uh, what is it? Um, a subscription. I gifted a, a subscription and I don't truthfully know what, what that actually does. You know, a lot of people forget to add reverb to their drums. Like even, obviously I'm being heavy handed here, but drums, like the sound of a drum is like a drum in a room. So you, it really does enhance a drum sound. Put a little tiny bit of reverb on it. It doesn't even need to be noticeable. You just kind of feel it a little bit. Um, yeah, that's my, that's my speech. take off a little bit of that high end though. I'm gonna make this, here's the other thing, people think reverb needs to be super wide all the time. I don't think so. I think you need like one wide reverb per song. Um, 
we can use this. Especially if you have like, like say you have a snare that's like super wide. It's already taking up the stereo space. Like it's already wide. Like it's already got that stereo field. If you use a more mono reverb, not like mono mono, but just like halfway, it fills out the center. Sounds good. Like listen to that. It's in front of us. Um, I really hope that, uh, I really hope that someone, like, comes through here and they're, like, expecting some lo-fi something and they're like, what the fuck is Arbor making right now? treatment yet. button do well it doesn't lock things that's for sure i've never noticed this button before lock envelopes if locks the song positions are una wow did anybody else know that yo what the fuck this isn't interstellar 2 i'm just reading your messages uh paper ocean um, I saw that gift. Thank you so much for gifting that. Um, that's really cool. This is the first time I really like tried to understand what's going on when like subs are being gifted and stuff and that's dope. So thank you. I really appreciate that. Let's put a, let's put a micro shift on this. Let's see what that sounds like. I feel like people do that with basses. I would love just a super cut of me imitating the sounds that I'm I'm making on Ableton like boom boom or I'm like doom doom doom. Okay, I need to like turn some stuff down here, get this mix a little Everything down a little bit, maybe bring this up a bit. Thank you. Thank you, AI means love. I like this little rhythm section here I got. Hey Jordan, we're making a making some 80s synth stuff. Welcome to the stream. <laughs> Wait a second. AI means love. Are you are you on my Twitch and my YouTube simultaneously sending me messages? <laughs> I appreciate it if you are. I'm just I'm like looking at two different things right here and I see you on both of them. Let me get my guitar real quick, one sec.
figure out where I put my uh, my guitar cable. Oh wow, the whole squad's here. How's it going? <laughs> oh, I, I get that. Okay. That'd be sick. If you uh, if you got the connect paper ocean, send this over. I'd love to have this be a soundtrack. Um, I need to find my guitar cable. One second. One just one second. wrong with that okay we got preamp out let's see i think i made this a new track got my voice there my guitar is here the latency is crazy i might have to Let's see what we can do here. Wow, that actually worked. <laughs> All right, so we got... Let me just check if I have any presets for this that I made. If not, I'll just do some clean supra. Mm -hmm. Simply great DI amp sound. That one's probably not good. Let's try guitar wide open. It's pretty standard. Oh, yeah, I, I think I have that turned off because um, I, I guess I don't know why. Just so I can monitor in Ableton so I can hear all the effects. Um, but maybe I should turn that back on. The thing is I'm on like the M1 Mac Mini and so it doesn't, uh, it doesn't play nice with the old, um, the old uh, Scarlet software. So I have to plug in my old laptop in order to change the settings. Gotta love Mac, right? Let's see, where's utility? Direct monitor would solve my problems though. That would be nice. for like the guitar earlier. It's good to tune with a little bit of pitch warble on your master. Keeps you on your toes. Stark is really cool. Um, 
I use Stark and Amplitude for the most part. And I like them both. I like Stark because you kind of just turn it on and it sounds good. Amplitude, you can get real nerdy with it and like like change up different heads and cabinets and stuff, which is fun. Like I love doing that, but like when I'm on stream, I pretty much just use Stark because it's easier. Peace out, Joe. Control Z, but nothing's happening. Okay, fine. Um, one sec. Can't be having dynamics. Absolutely no dynamics. Maybe just a little bit. How much can we let it? Here's a little trick, if you play something twice and you want to double it, you just go like this. Boom.
call this guy a guitar. Oh, the fuck just happened? Woo! That never stops scaring me. Um, I don't really like how this is like fitting into the mix though. Like, I really like the sound, but it's not fitting for me. And maybe it's the compression. Or, I mean, side chain compression. Maybe that's all it needs. Little drum rack. Ding. Or maybe it's because it's doubled. Maybe I just don't like the double. this is fun to do um have like a a much drier signal like panned really hard and then a super reverby one Let's see what this sounds like. That sounds dope. I just saw my base. Oh, see you later, Jordan. Thanks for stopping by and checking it out. Appreciate it. Have a great rest of the day. All right, what is it about the snare? Is it just not loud enough? Oh, <laughs> I know. Let's put this on it. fix any any kind of problems like that like if something's not sticking out enough throw it on the master i mean transient master okay let me see getting a little lost here um let me put another dark in the mix Boom, boom. this though um okay God, what was that? Thank you. 
that guitar line. Okay, let's see what we got. Okay, guitar's gotta come in later. Silence is deafening. Okay. Got to turn my keyboard back on. Like. Excuse me, there's a there's a fine line we need to walk here between cheesy and tasteful. I think those are the two sides of the line. Um oh shit, I'm so curious what is this? Ooh, it sounds good. Let me see. Pitch this down? Pitch this down, but okay, we'll just. Okay, that's not the sound I'm going for. Um. Sounds, sounds so good. Okay, maybe no put him in Where's the LFO? I find the workflow in the synth very difficult. But it makes good sounds. kind of cool.
kind of like that. Change the timing on that real quick. <laughs> um, all right, we gotta go in, we gotta hack the mainframe to change this up. Oh, Lord, okay, pitch bend. I'm in hell right now. What? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> My partner just turned over and said, hot dogs and ranch. I've never been more horrified. Like, I just said I was in hell. <laughs> I think I might actually be. If, I don't know if anybody's in active in the chat right now, but I, if you are, I'd love to hear whether you think you could put ranch on a hot dog. It might settle a debate. Um, that's it's it's a little disturbing to me, but I won't hold it against you if you'd put ranch on a hot dog. Okay, here's here's a here's a take. A hot dog is technically a sandwich, right? I still would never do it. A hot dog is technically a sandwich. 
Um, Jonah Gribble says no. Just plain and simple, no. I respect that. <laughs> um, it's tough to say. I'm definitely going to try it out now that I've heard of this. I'm assuming you're talking about the the ranch on a hot dog. Um, give it a try and report back. I'm really curious. About, I'm not going to try this. I'm going to go put my life on the line. This is kind of dope. I sort of like this. I was gonna put, let me see. Wait. Oh no, that's the bass. Um. Boom, 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 boom. Synth lead. Um, I was gonna put like uh, a little bit of delay on here. I feel like people use delay. I don't usually. Unless I'm doing something like that. Are you happy with the ATH R70X? I just bought them and came from Bear Dynamic DT770 Pro. I like the R70X a lot, but I still need to get used to them. Yes, I I love these headphones so much. I, I use them exclusively. Um, I was using the ATH M50, the ones that everybody has. I think they're M50, and I really don't like them. The, they hurt my ears after a while and they make my ears really hot and i just don't think that they're accurate headphones they are good for like if you're in a studio like those are great headphones just to record with but i love these once you get used to them um you're gonna have great mixes I know the first time I first time I put this thing on my head and it like pushed back, I was like, ah, oh, wow, ergonomics. It's so nice. It feels great. Okay, let's go around and just do a little a little maintenance here. I'm sure there's a lot that needs to be done. I'm someone who likes to mix as I go and then and this is really just when I'm working on my stuff. But I like to mix while I while I work. I don't know. That's really the whole thought. I don't like to save it to the end. I, I, I like to hear it sound good the entire time. Do you guys mix while you're making music or do you just like make music and then do it afterwards? Maybe I could learn something from you guys. <laughs> I said I wouldn't do this, but uh, I'm going to give hi-hats a shot on here. Let's see if we got the Lindrum hi-hats. Based samples. Let me see. Let me see what's in this.
That's a nice little shaker. That's a nice shaker too. That's not a shaker. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Hello, Le Lut. Am I saying that right? Thank you so much. I, I'd like to go to Brazil someday. Make me big, then I'll go on tour. Thank you so much for watching also. Appreciate it. People do that. People do that. Boom. Take me on your phone. Go get that COVID test, but uh, you can still stream on your phone. Can I get away with just a tick, 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 tick. What the fuck is that? That's not what I thought I was getting. Maybe that's not so bad. Okay, there's so much latency that I just have to like, I just have to draw these things in. But maybe that's part of the sound, it's like a sequencer, right? Like the Lindrum. Okay, we go. That. These ones are gonna be real quiet. And then these ones. Is something like fucked up? Like pitch wheel? Pitch wheel? Excuse me? Pitch wheel. Okay. Okay, I know what's happening here. I haven't been able to undo anything, which has been a little bit scary. Um, and I think I know why. It's because I... Okay, wait, what? Okay, well, we're doing this with no undos. <laughs> That's the plan, AirPods in. Thank you, Magic Pearl. Um, I don't know if you guys have ever heard of Bilo 503, or maybe it's Bilo 503. I was originally, I made I made that song originally for him. I wanted to collaborate on it. But um, for one reason or another, it just didn't work out. Might not, have been, might not have been his style, but I was hoping that he would add drums to it because his drums are just crazy. If you haven't checked out Philo 503, definitely give him a look here. Philo 503. This man. Check this guy out. You have you have to listen to his music. Anyway. <laughs> I just want like Ugh. this is what I was worried about. I had to one of those things where it's, it's such a it's such a hole you can get into, you know, it's like It's 
like my pitch wheel is just constantly going or something. Oh, there you go. Okay. <laughs>
Okay, back to the little song structure. Basin. Gonna have to bring the drums back in. One more idea, I think. Love this 80s synth. That's some vibes. That is, that is right. Le loot. Got some vibes. Uh, I'm going to put that here. This is kind of a, it's a gray zone here. Uh, just adding, adding a couple bars for free. Let me start over the progression here. I think I started doing weird stuff in the end of this though. Let me see. Yeah, I'm gonna go like that. That's what we need. Okay, I am gonna grab the guitar again. Um, let me use a different preset. I've got a great one called Clean Supro. This latency, crazy, check this out. Crazy. Okay, I'm going to put a little utility here.
What's up? I'm back. I'm going to keep working on this track, but um, I've got to turn my mic off for a few minutes. So bear with me. Enjoy the ride. I'm going to mess around with some drums a little bit. Um, yeah, thanks for sticking around. <laughs>
Okay, well, I have a little bit more to add to this, but um, I think I'm going to finish that up some other time. Post this on SoundCloud. Maybe I'll even stream that last little bit. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for everyone who came, and I hope you had a good time. I'll see you next time.